there comes a time in everyone's lives when you take your truck off road and your tires get filthy and then you realize I've got to clean them. First we're going to hit the tires with a pressure washer or a garden hose just to rinse off any loose dirt. I am using an electric pressure washer that does about 1500 PSI at about 1.2 gallons per minute. One thing you'll notice is how easily the dirt comes off of my tires using this cleaning process that I am about to show you. So that's one huge benefit of doing it this way. Next we're going to hit it with a foam cannon and then we're going to scrub it with a tire brush. I'm using a Trinova foam cannon and the tire brush is by Carand and it's just called their Deluxe Tire and Bumper Brush. If you don't have a foam cannon, you can just put your tire brush into a soapy bucket of water and scrub your tires that way. I did put links to the products that I use in this video in the description for anybody that is interested in trying to follow this method of washing your tires. I am not affiliated with any of these products or sponsored in any way, so this is just something that I found that works for me after, you know, a lot of research and stuff. After we rinse the soapy water off the tire and wheel, we're going to hit the tire with a product called Wise Guy by Shine Supply. This will get any last little bits of dirt and dust out of the rubber of your tire. Now that we're all finished up cleaning up the tires, we're going to need to pay attention to those wheels. Once again, we're going to be using the foam cannon. I'll be cleaning in between the spokes and the barrel of the wheel with the Microfiber Madness Increda brush. Even though we hit the wheel with the foam cannon, I still dip the Increda brush into a soapy bucket of water to give it just that much more lubrication because brake dust can be very abrasive. So it's very important to use a lot of soap when you're doing this to help protect the wheel. Now that everything is super clean, we're going to want to protect the tire. But first we want to make sure everything is nice and dry. So you can let it sit overnight or you can do what I did. I just used a leaf blower and aired everything off until it was nice and dry. You can really apply this stuff however you want. I kind of like using a brush for the knobby parts of the tire to make sure I get in every little nook and cranny. And then on the kind of flatter part of the sidewall, I just spray it on and then I use a microfiber towel and I kind of just rub it in and then I buff it off. This is the last product that we'll be using on the tires and it is by CarPro and it's called Pearl. You really don't want to leave this any of this stuff pulled up in any of the little areas of the tire so it will take a little bit of time with a microfiber cloth just kind of wiping the tire down making sure you get every little bit of leftover product um, out of there and it is safe on powder coated wheels and stuff so i tend to wipe it down with that stuff as well and it does a really good job for me mm -hmm. 